Hello everyone, welcome to Game Tech UK and my gaming news series. This is where I like to talk about everything in the gaming press at the moment, give you my opinion, ask your opinion, and we end up having a chat in the comments section below. If you like that style of video, feel free to subscribe, leave me a cheeky thumbs up, let's get on with today's video. So just recently EA teased that they're going to be bringing a subscription service to a new platform. Could that platform be the PlayStation 4? I've been a customer of EA Access and Origin Access as it is on the PC since release and I've always found it to be a fairly good value. $4.99 a month, pound a week, it's pretty good. One of the features that I like and I know is popular amongst gamers is the fact that it allows you to play up to 10 hours of a brand new game before the release date. So if you want to play Anthem for 10 hours without the risk of purchase before the release release date, EA Access is the place to do it. So that makes it sound like you're paying for a demo service, but you get more than that. You get access to the vault, which is where they store over 50 games that you can play as much as you want whilst you're a member of the service. So if you want to play Battlefield, FIFA, Mass Effect, anything like that, um, as much as you want whilst you're a member of a service, but it does mean that you are essentially renting the games. As with a lot of these subscription services, there is an upgrade path, and only recently I was tempted by Battlefield 5 to upgrade to their Premier package, which is $14.99 a month. And the main difference is, rather than just a 10-hour trial of the latest games like Battlefield 5 and Anthem, you actually get those games included and all their current and future DLCs in your package, which sounds fantastic until you stop playing those games. I don't really play Battlefield 5 at the moment. And based on the demo, Anthem didn't really grab me. So at the moment, I'm paying 14 99 a month, 90 quid a year, and literally not using the service. So you think, okay, I'll cancel the service, but then you get fear of missing out syndrome, which is, if I cancel, I can't just go and play Battlefield 5 whenever I want. What if I end up liking Anthem? So it's almost like the bigger the package, um, bigger the games included in the package, you get trapped within the subscription service. One of the best game rental packages so far seems to be the Microsoft Game Pass, $7.99 a month, um, and you get a lot of games included such as Forza Horizon 4, Sea of Thieves, State of Decay 2, and you can share it amongst your Xbox and your PC as well. So I subscribe to this, and me and my son play Forza Horizon 4, he plays on the Xbox and I play on the PC simultaneously. It seems to be really good value for money, and they add to it all the time. So with EA saying that it's coming later on in the year, but Anthem is coming out on the 22nd of this month, February, it doesn't seem likely that the package is going to release at the same time as Anthem, which is a bit of a shame, because if it is coming to the PlayStation 4, that would have been a perfect time to release it. So what do I think of these game rental packages? Well, on one hand, they're really, really convenient. It's a good price point to get access to a lot of games. On the other hand, you end up buying nothing. You end up with absolutely nothing if you cancel the service. You do actually feel trapped within these subscription services. And the fact that you're not getting one overall subscription service, you're having to go to different developers like EA uh, and Microsoft. And obviously, as part of your PlayStation Plus, you get free games as well. Uh, but again, these are all whilst you're committed to the service. As always, the most important part of this video is what you think. Are you going to subscribe to EA Access if it comes out on your PlayStation 4? Do you think that the future of gaming is in game rental packages where we have a Netflix style future where you don't actually own the game, you just use them whilst you enjoy them and move on to the next title? Please let me know in the comments below. You know I love having a conversation uh, and I always answer all my gaming news comments. Um, top right of your screen will be a playlist coming up of all my other gaming news. Feel free to subscribe, check that out, leave me a cheeky like. But have a lovely day, and I'll see you in the next one.